Hi boys and girls, Miss Tottdell here for our last lesson for grammar for this year. Uh, we are going to go over the five worksheets that you have in your packet. These are very important. Make sure that you take your time, do your best, and if you have a question, please email me or text me or call me. Um, when I uh, send you the link to this video, I'll make sure I include my phone number again and my email address so that you can reach out to me if you have questions because these five worksheets are very important that you do correctly on them. We're going to count these as an end of year test grade uh, and they're not hard. So if you take your time and do good, this is going to help you to bring your grade up if you've been struggling a little bit this year. And all of these cover several different things that we've talked about in our grammar this year. And the very first one, uh, if you want to go get your packet out as we go through this, is the one called irregular verbs. And we are going to uh, talk about the irregular verbs. So if you have that in front of you, you can see at the top of the page, it's got a, a chart there with regular past tense verbs. And we know that we add ed to most verbs to make them past tense, like brush becomes brushed and climb becomes climbed and so forth in that chart right there. But some of our verbs we do not add ed to to make them past tense and those are called irregular verbs and we've learned about that this year a couple times. Uh, and some of the examples that they give you in your chart is fly becomes flew, eat becomes ate, build becomes built, catch becomes caught, and give becomes gave. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the 14 sentences that you have on this page and there is a verb out here in front of each one and then in the sentence there are two different ways that they have given you to write the past tense of that verb. You're going to circle the one that is correct. We're going to do number one together, and it says, uh, the verb is sweep. It says, Tom sweeped or swept the floor. Which one do you think it is? Well, if you picked swept, then you picked the right one. It's like the word built up at the top there. Build becomes built, not builded. Sweep becomes swept, not sweeped. Um, and that's just a rule. There's not really a reason that I can give you or anything to do with the spelling of it. It's one of the rules in grammar. You just have to remember it. Um, and one of the things that when I was doing a little research on it, looking up, um, that they said uh, sweep becomes swept like keep becomes kept. They rhyme with each other, uh, swept and kept, uh, and they're the same way. So when you have those double E's like that, you don't put an ED on the end, you put a T on the end. And you're going to go in and you'll do that with the rest of the vowel, uh, not vowels, the rest of the verbs on there, uh, clean, fall, jump, and so forth, all the way down to number 14. Make sure your name is on your paper, uh, on all the pages in your packet, uh, and make sure you don't miss any because we don't want to, um, you know, miss, have some wrong. If you don't fill it out, then it won't be right, will it? All right, the next one, if you'll go on to the next, very, the very next page in your packet, is about nouns. It's called plural nouns, and it looks like this one, so you can pull that one out and look at it. Uh, and at the top, it's got our rules for making nouns plural. We know that a lot of nouns that we have, we make them plural by just adding an S. But there are some special rules that we've talked about this school year, and this is a review. Um, and you can see those in the chart up at the top. Nouns that end in CH or SH or um, SS like class or X or ZZ like buzz. Um, those you don't add an S to, you add an ES to. So make sure that you check that as you're filling out this paper. Also, our uh, word, our, our nouns that end in Y. Uh, we've learned about nouns that end in Y that have a vowel before them like boy or toy. Uh, to make those plural, you just add an S because you wouldn't change the Y in that word to an I and add ES. Otherwise, you would have three vowels together like toys, T-O-I-E-S. That would be O, I, and E together, and you never have that. So you would just add an S to that. But the special rule goes for the ones that are on this page, and they are the ones that have a consonant before the Y, like fly or sky. And if there is a consonant there, before the Y, you change that Y to an I and you add ES to make it plural. And then the last rule on the page is words that end in F or FE, like wife or life or thief or shelf 
Uh, those are all the ones, some of the ones that are on this page. There's quite a few. Um, in, those, in the instance for that, to make it plural, you change the F to a V and add ES. So life becomes lives, L-I-V-E-S. And shelf becomes shelves, S-H-E-L-V-E-S. So don't forget to check up the top of the page, follow the rules, and fill out all of these on here. You have 28 of them, all right? That's very easy because every one of them, you can go up here and find how the word ends, the ending of the word, and use that to make it plural. All right, worksheet number three. The next one in your packet is adjectives. Adjectives we know are describing words. They describe a noun. And um, on this particular page, you are going to choose a noun, I mean an adjective from the box to fill in the sentence. You've got the adjectives naughty, blazing, stunning, hilarious, glittering, plump, playful, purple, peaceful, scary, heavy, and bright. Now remember, colors are nouns, numbers are nouns, because um, they tell what kind or how many of something are a noun. Uh, um, so that's what the adjective does in the sentence. So they did the first one for you. The sentence said, a blank squirrel jumped on a branch. And they picked the word playful. Because I really don't think that there are any purple squirrels, so we probably wouldn't put purple there and have a purple squirrel. Anyway, and then they crossed out. You're only going to use each one one time. Um, so that's why they crossed uh, that one out already. Um, so only use each one once and make sure that your sentence makes sense, all right? So choose one that will work with what the sentence is talking about. Write it neatly so that I can read what you 